Hey guys, this is Lewis. Welcome back to Stone Egg Problems. So, today's episode is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, I made a couple changes in my uh, approach to training. And since now I'm going to be taking on more videos, obviously, when we're training. And you're going to see me do, performing these exercises. I wanted to go ahead and elaborate on my mentality, philosophy, uh, when I approach said exercises or what I'm trying to achieve with doing so. So, I have found the gold mine of what is called progressive overload. Like I've talked about this before, but now I'm really starting to grasp the the true way of, do, of performing it, of, of getting to that point. And I'm still experimenting, but I feel like I found a sweet spot. Um, for obviously, I'm just still new. I'm only about to hit four years this month on the 26th. Obviously, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm learning, and I'm learning from the fucking best. If you're trying to be like me, if you're trying to be jacked, you're trying to be big as fuck, um, I really don't see any other way than progressive overload in order to achieve that. You know, size and strength. You know, that people put, like, power building something fucking new. Like, I don't... It's not new. <laughs> it's progressive overload. So, that's what's elevated my physique obviously the dietary changes and things of that nature have facilitated that progress but definitely i've seen in the gym i've seen in my strength and my aesthetic my physique i have strike issues coming all over the place it's awesome and that's when i started implementing pro progressive overload in its purest form i guess you could say logging like you guys gotta log your shit bro like if you're really about this shit if you're really trying to get big you trying to do anything like that you're just trying to you know look good progressive overload is where you where the party's at um log your shit log your numbers try to figure out okay so like i on my top set i did 185 on a row or whatever for seven reps let me try to get eight let me try to get nine or let me put up the weight fuck it like you know what i'm saying like but always have a, a be conscious of how good you did last week or the last workout session and do better and continue to follow progressive overload that you know that is the stress that your body requires in order to adapt and to grow more muscle tissue and things of that nature in order to make you jack which is what we're here for uh, this is the best way like ronnie Coleman said it the objective is to lift as heavy as you fucking can for as many reps as you can not wasting your time on these primer sets you know like you fucking see on tiktok and instagram you fucking done these idiots fucking talking about, oh, do three sets of 10 to 12 or four sets of 12, 10, 8, 6. Like, no. <laughs> that's not going to get you the gains that you need. Um, that's just, that. it looks cute. Let's put it that way. It looks cute. But that's not how you really make those gains. That's not how you really make gains. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could do that route, but it's going to take you so long. And you're not going to get that density that you really, like, what I, that's just what I'm looking for. Because people, what people tend to do and what I started catching myself doing, like obviously, you know, I'm still evolving. I'm only four years in, but I'm glad I'm being able to continue to learn because that's the main component of life. Continue to learn, continue to adapt, continue to find what works for you. And that's what I continue to do. So as I was researching more on progressive overload and looking at Jordan Peters, check out his channel, Trained by JP. So you could get a much more in-dive explanation and you could see it in practice of how he approaches these workouts. It's amazing. Um, that guy's like the master of, of progressive overload in, in the manner in which I'm speaking. Um, you know, I'm going to buy his ebook. It's 89 euros, so almost $100. But I can only imagine what the fuck that shit... Mo I, that, I can only imagine what that's going to take me. So, whatever. I, I, I started realizing that doing those three sets of 10 to 12 or 10, tw like 12, 10, 86 is not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you the progress that you need. Like I said, like Wanda Coleman does it, Dorian Yates. The biggest motherfuckers use progressive overload in the way I'm telling you. You don't waste your energy and you don't waste your reps. You don't waste your glycogen stores and all that bullshit. On the sets that don't really mean anything. The working set, that top set where you're supposed to lift as heavy as you can for as many reps as you can. That's where the money is at. That's where it's going to get you the gains. That's going to be the stress that is required to force your body to adapt. That's the set that counts. Not that all the bullshit. Like, now I'm literally doing, like, two, three reps. Bah, bah, bah. You know, 
slowly but building up but i don't do fuck it oh let me do eight let me do six let me do four like no bro fuck that shit like rir which is reps in reserve really does make a difference because it's all about lifting as heavy as you can for as many reps as you can you don't want to be pre-exhausted especially when it comes to like compound moments like the bench press the deadlift the squat the rows you don't want to gas yourself out you're trying to lift as obviously safe safely don't throw four plates on a bent over row and try to you're gonna gang some shit. You can't lift it. You don't don't lift it. You know, please leave your ego at the door because progressive overload is tough. It's definitely fatiguing. That's why every like four to eight weeks, people be taking a deload. That's just tough. But I love it. You know, um, it's it, it also plays like a little psychological game with you because you're trying to get better. Because at the end of the day, we're going to the gym to be better, right? Obviously, that uh, what better means depends on your form of ideology or what you've, what sort of emotions and plans you've have been, you've attached to going to the gym, you know, and performing these activities. But even then, you know, you're now seeing that you are getting better. You know, like I love that shit. You know, even when I don't hit my number, even when I don't hit what I thought I was gonna hit, fuck it, I could I surprised myself more than I fail like last week i did 195 on the squat machine for romanian deadlifts uh, uh two days ago too easy i did 13 reps i'm like what the fuck i'm gonna throw two plates on there next time throw 30 pounds in there too easy it was too easy but i love it like you're able to fucking really see the hard work paying off not even just in the mirror which looks nice but for me like to know that i'm getting stronger more efficient it, it, it honestly trumps well i know no i can't say trumps it's equal because if it trumped then i'll be a power lifter and i do care about how i look i'm a little vain like that but um it, it, it's so amazing uh progressive overload like i said tr check out train by gp you can also check out the dog crap protocol which is from dr trudeau yes it's a very interesting name uh, but you can check that out. That's a form of progressive overload as well. Basically follows the same lines, but it also takes into account steroid use, you know, sauce use. So whether you enhance or not, you can check that out. I checked it out either way because it's progressive overload and your boy's trying to learn, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't hurt. Um, it's pretty cool. But yeah, check it out. Like you really, there really is nothing else but progressive overload, you know, unless you're trying to maintain or, or some shit like that. But it more often than now when I was watching this, you're not trying to maintain. You're trying to get bigger or strong, like, you know, trying to get better. Progressive overload, that's where the part is at. Don't listen to these other fucking jackasses talking about 30 sets of this. And like, like that's not going to get you. It's not high volume shit. No. And the great thing about progressive overload like this, me following a push-pull legs AB routine, which is what uh, Jordan Peters suggests, because with this low volume, remember, it's low volume. On paper, it's not going to look super flashy. That's why a lot of people don't probably like it or like to post it on Instagram because they're going to be like, what sort of fucking workout is this? Because they don't understand what's in place. You know, no, they don't understand what's actually going on. But with this low volume, high intensity, because like I said, you're lifting as heavy as you can for as much as you can. It's going to be intense. It's going to be fatiguing. And you're going to know what hit cardio really is. You know, that whole high intensity interval bullshit. That's hit cardio especially when you're doing like squats or deadlifts and shit like you're gonna be gassed out by the time you're done um but yeah uh, push pull legs a, a b routine due to the fact that it's low volume i'm able to recover obviously have to be the calorie surplus in order to be able to achieve this in order to be able to recover in an adequate amount of time because in four days you are going to attack that target muscle again i do with different exercises that's why i'm an a and b you know, completed different exercises for those two days. Uh, you're still targeting that muscle and you still require the amount of nutrients, micronutrients, not just, just protein, carbs, and fats, but your electrolytes and make sure you have a great uh, intake of collagen and your, uh, you know, things like that. Check out Vigor Steve if you guys want to elaborate a little bit more on that. Um, he, his channel is a wealth of knowledge, like an infinite well of knowledge. Like, Ever since I started watching him, uh, my gains have tripled. I'm not even lying, bro. That guy's a fucking genius. Check him out. Vigorous fucking Steve. Well, not fucking. Vigorous Steve. Awesome. Great channel. Uh, but 
you know, with that low frequency, I'm sorry that I keep interjecting uh, myself, but uh, the reason it's great like that low volume, high frequency is because you can hit it in four days. You're not overtly taxing your muscle with the amount of volume, like super high volume. You know, you're, you're over for quality over quantity. So once you hit those top sets or whatever the case may be, and if you're eating adequately enough, you're going to be able to recover in perfect amount of time in order to hit it again in four days. So instead of other people that work out that body part once a week, that only gives you 52 opportunities to achieve muscle protein synthesis on that target muscle in a year. The way that I'm doing it, or the way you should do it, the way I'm telling my boy that's just about to start training with push-pull legs, is instead of having 52, you have 104 chances. That's huge. And for only progressive overload, like that's a perfect fucking mix of success. <laughs> like obviously you have to know what the fuck you're doing and and be diligent and be patient. You know, I'm natty, so I gotta, you know, I'm blooming right now, but obviously everything starts tapering off, but you still gotta keep pushing. And like I said, it's more of a, it's also a psychological thing, being able to see and be able to know that you're going hard, that you're doing, like the work that you're putting in is translating in front of your face. It's irrefutable. You know what I'm saying? So it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. I'm going to keep researching it, but uh, check out Progressive Overload. Check out Trained by JP. Check out Vigorous Steve. Those two are fucking awesome people. Um, great content. Um, but yeah, get on that shit. Because if you're trying to be like me, look. <laughs> One more needs to be said. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, help me out, you know, uh, with the whole YouTube algorithm shit. Gonna definitely put out more videos. It's fucking awesome being able to record and, you know, be able to see back also progressive overload, the work, you know, just so you guys can also see that I practice what I motherfucking preach. It's gonna be glorious. It's glorious. So, Thank you guys again. Please don't forget about the Holy Trinity. Uh, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And until next time, peace.